Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm back with a pregnancy related video dwindling down. I think this is my last one before I have a special video for you guys. Going to be talking about my um, talking about me inducing my labor. So hopefully I can induce it. I'm going to be 40 weeks in two days. So I feel like it sounds like I'm going to be 40 weeks and two days, but I'm I'm, right now, I'm 39 weeks and 5 days, okay? <laughs> Make it simple. 39 weeks and 5 days, and I've been trying for the past 3 days to induce my labor. <laughs> so as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my pregnancy essentials. I'm almost at the end, well, pretty much at the end of my pregnancy, and I've been tracking, you know, everything that I need from my first trimester to my third trimester, everything that was essential to me that, like, if I didn't have, I don't know how I would have got through this pregnancy. Um... And that if I do go on to have more kids, these are the essentials that I will definitely need when I'm pregnant again. So we're going to go over that list. I'm super excited to share it with you guys. So if you guys are interested in seeing, you know, my pregnancy essentials, what you might need if you're in your first trimester, or even your second trimester, even your third trimester, still an essential. Or um, if you're trying to get pregnant, what you might need, then please keep watching. So the first essential are your prenatals. Once you um, take a positive pregnancy test and you call your gynecologist and you go in and they, you know, do your blood work and once your pregnancy is confirmed, they're going to tell you to start taking your prenatals right away. That's what my OBGYN did and I actually got like a nice little welcome bag from them. So it had a magazine, a bunch of coupons, um, like a pregnancy magazine, coupons and um, prenatal samples so I could see what I liked. I did start off with um, gummy prenatals just because I hate swallowing pills and stuff like that but um towards like the second trimester like the end of it more like middle to end they were making me so nauseous I went from the brand the Ollie one they taste like peaches um then I switched over to I think nature bounty or like spring valley one of those I think spring valley um it was like an assortment of them but they were just making me so nauseous when I tried to switch back and forth between them but I couldn't do it so I started taking the one a day prenatals they were like soft gels they were huge but I would take it and um that's the only way I could take my prenatals without throwing up they're very important to take so I started with gummies lasted for a few months and then I had to switch over so I'll have them linked down below if you guys are interested I just got them from Target but yeah your OBGYN is gonna tell you to take your prenatals you can ask them what they recommend or just find you know whatever ones you like next were Tums I needed them like first trimester not only was I super nauseous during my first trimester if you guys want to hear all about my first trimester I'll have that video linked down below <laughs> um but I was also having like the worst heartburn and indigestion and I would just feel it at the top of my stomach and I had to looked it up and it's so common um and pregnancy that you feel it right here at the top and I was just miserable but Tums would um would help for the most part they would help for like a half hour and then I'd be feeling crappy again but it would be nice to have that a little bit of relief and it just stunk because I love spicy food so if I was craving it I was like I'm gonna feel sorry later but I'm gonna eat it now <laughs> and I would have it but yeah you're definitely gonna need some Tums even if they give you just a few minutes of relief you're gonna love them <laughs> the third essential for me was mint tea I love my tea I was pregnant um I found I was pregnant like in November ish around that time so um I was in winter during my first trimester so mint tea Oh, so good. Um, you have to be careful with tea though because of caffeine and I had low iron. I developed that in my pregnancy. So I had to be really careful with the my caffeine take uh, intake. But um mint tea, I don't know, it's just I love tea. It makes me feel so warm and calm. So mint tea was an essential for me. It, even if you like hot chocolate, just something warm and soothing, whatever makes you feel good at the end of the day, just to help you get through it because the first trimester is rough. Hopefully, you know, you guys had a great first trimester or a smooth one. Mine was absolutely horrible and the mint tea would just give me some comfort to have at night and wrap up in a blanket. <laughs> Next, in shower lotion. I really like the Nivea in shower lotion. It's in like a white bottle. I get it from Target. I get everything from Target. I love Target. Um, That came in handy because I was super lazy in my first trimester just because I felt so crappy. I just wanted to shower and be done with it. So, um, I would lack moisturizing my skin, which is not good, especially in the winter. So having that in shower lotion really helped. There's also the Jergens wet skin one, which I like, but doing everything in the shower just made it so much easier. Now it's not all that moisturizing. I tried the Nivea foam one. No, it didn't do anything, but the, uh, um, is it? Yeah. The foam one wasn't good, but the one in the white bottles, like the shea butter one, that one's really good. 
stay away from the one in the blue bottle <laughs> so the white bottle one that comes upside down was really good I would put that on in the shower and then if I wasn't super lazy then I would just put some oil on my skin just to steal that moisture in and still have soft skin but if I was feeling like really blah and lazy then I just do the in shower lotion so I had something on my body and would call it a night <laughs> next this one is optional but an oil cleanser and you don't need to oil cleanse every day but it's a nice soothing cleanse that you can do one one to two times a week it's also a really good makeup remover but if you're like me and you weren't wearing makeup it's really nice it's like a nice little massage I did a pampering skin routine um, I'll have that link down below for you guys and I um, mentioned the benefits of oil cleansing and like just massaging it into your face it just feels so good so um, yeah oil cleanser was a nice essential for me so when I was feeling good or if I was feeling like a little down like a little bleh just because like my body's changing I felt so huge and uncomfortable and I wasn't even big yet um, oil cleansing was a nice pampering routine for me I wrote this essential down a few months ago but now I'm seeing like I don't even use it it's the pregnancy pillow I haven't used it in months it was good at the beginning um, like when I was at my second trimester um, when I had just started it because it helped me not roll onto my stomach but now I have this huge belly so I know I can't roll onto my stomach but it was really hard for me to stay off my stomach because I sleep on my stomach that's since I've been a kid and it, I would always get yelled at because it's so bad for your back and everything but um that's where I'm the most comfortable so when my stomach was still small I didn't have a bump I would like halfway roll over like if I was sleeping on my belly so the pregnancy pillow really helped me you know stay on my side but now that I have this big belly it just gets in the way and I don't like it anymore <laughs> so I haven't used it since like six and a half seven months so maybe you know if you want to give it a try, I don't think you should, you should go spend 40, 50 bucks on a pregnancy pillow. Um, my boyfriend just happened to have one, <laughs> like just a long pillow. It was like this long. So he had it. So I just used his. So I was like, I don't want to buy one just to use for now. I don't know when and if I'm going to have more kids. So I wrote um, on the list back then, but it's definitely not needed. It's a great option. Maybe at the beginning of your second trimester or if you pop, you know, um early then that'll be good to help you stay on your side the next two essentials are closed so the first one um is maternity pants you need maternity pants i kept putting it off for so long i was like four months i was like i really need to get some i really need to get some because i started getting that line and my scrubs were getting too tight and i was like i just gotta get some maternity pants and they go over your belly i have it on now they go over your belly like this your big belly <laughs> so you're comfortable and you're not getting that line underneath your stomach so they are just Oh, I love my maternity pants. I got them from Walmart. They have leggings and um, jeggings because I hate jeans, but it's um, they look like jeans and they have like a nice black soft um, belly cover. Love it. So Walmart has really nice maternity clothes in stores, at least my local Walmart. Really nice maternity clothes in store online. I couldn't find anything and there's like so many third party sellers. And I was like, this is a mess. I'm just going <laughs> to stick with going into store. So definitely go recommend going inside of your local Walmart and checking it out and you can get a set of two for like ten dollars so definitely good to get some maternity stuff especially if you don't you don't know when you're gonna be pregnant again and you don't want to go drop all this money and then you don't get pregnant again for like five years and you just spent four or five hundred dollars on a bunch of pregnancy clothes so I like to budget but I like my stuff to be cute and these are just plain cute leggings <laughs> also sports bras became my best friend I just couldn't do my regular bras anymore they were just so annoying I love sports bras and then nursing bras because I started lactating at like 20 weeks around that I was like lactating early and it's not milk it's your colostrum it's what you have the first two weeks when you're breastfeeding and it's just yellow and it's not just milk yet it's just this yellow consistency and it's kind of thicker so I was lactating so I started wearing nursing bras just because I needed some relief and a little less support because the nursing bras don't give a ton of support so when I was in the house I just wanted to be comfortable but I still needed to have something on especially at night because I'd wake up and I'd be lactating or have something on the bed nursing bras were great I got mine from Target next the birthing ball became my best friend in the second trimester just because my back was killing me I already don't have the best back and becoming pregnant did not help that especially as my belly was getting bigger and heavier it hurts so much now I'm like oh my gosh my lower back I cannot wait for this to be over but bouncing on the birthing ball which is just a, um, a medicine ball bouncing on it doing your hip circles and stretches that really really 
will help and give you so much relief i'm telling you and it's also supposed to help engage your baby helper drop down lower so they say i don't really know what can cause you to go into labor or help you engage it i've just been um trying it now but since the second trimester i've been bouncing on it stretching on it at night and it just helps my back tremendously so i definitely definitely recommend it so those were all my pregnancy essentials and i do want to just tell you guys about three apps that i definitely recommend and i think are essential and very beneficial to you the first app is the what to expect app i love this app I can tell you guys that 100%. I love that it tells you, you know, how far along you are, keeps track of the weeks and days. It tells you the size of your baby. You can compare its size to TV props, um, 80s and 90s nostalgia, fruits. You get to see, um, you know, what your pregnancy is like at that week. They talk about it. They give you a lot of information, I feel like. And then your body changes. It lets you know every week what's going on, which is very cool. And then also... The baby science breakdown tells you about your baby, um, estimated weight, inches, and everything like that. So I really love it. And then they also have videos that you can watch. There are a few ads in it, which is annoying, but you can watch a few videos. They have daily reads for you guys. You can um, read some tips, articles, and then they tell you about your symptoms for that week, which is really nice. And upcoming tests and screenings, which is really helpful to know. So the next app I downloaded, which my sister told me about, it's called the B-Shell app. And it's great for doing your kick counters and for also listening to your baby's heartbeat. You can record, you have to go on airplane mode and you can listen to her heartbeat. It really works. It was really special and nice because um, my boyfriend could no longer go into appointments with me just because of everything with the virus. So it was nice that even though I would record it for him to listen to her heart on the Doppler it was nice to just be at home and we could listen to her heartbeat whenever we wanted um they also sell Dopplers you can get off Amazon and stuff that work and are legit but I think it's so cool that you can do everything on your phone just from an app and then also you can do your kit counter which becomes really important in the middle of your second trimester your doctor will let you know to do your kit counter and just keeps track of it instead of having to write it down don't go crazy with your kit counter like I did. I was doing it like three times a day and driving myself crazy. My midwife was like, no, relax. Just do it in the morning and then do it at night. So I do it two, two times a day. You just want to feel 10 um, kicks, movements, punches in a two hour period. And if not, then you just call your provider. So I was definitely driving myself crazy. And I was like, she's not kicking enough. Oh my gosh. But had to relax and I just do it in the morning after breakfast at night and the bigger your baby gets the more you'll feel them because those punches kicks and rolls are really going to take you out when she turns over I'm like oh gosh they will really take you out <laughs> and the last app that is essential to me that I just came across you don't need it until you're at the end of your third trimester when you have about four or five weeks left it's called the contractions timer and I love it it makes it so easy to time your contractions because I couldn't figure it out at first all you do is simply hit start you time your contractions do your intensity slight mild moderate or strong then you hit stop when your contraction ends and then it times it for you and then it lets you know how long it's been since the last contraction start again when you feel it boom stop and it keeps track of the time and everything which i love makes it super easy then you can reset it or just simply you know keep going when it's time but i really like it, it makes it so easy because i couldn't figure out how to time the contractions but this app they have an app for everything thank goodness it makes everything so much easier all right guys so that is going to wrap up this video i hope you enjoyed um and this video helps you out about some essentials you may need during your pregnancy and that will help you get through your pregnancy and make pregnancy a little easier hopefully <laughs> that is the goal for me making my pregnancy related videos it's been so much fun filming this hopefully i am able to induce my labor and i can upload my inducing labor video i've been tracking it every day for you guys so you you know know how i did it <laughs> so hopefully it works i'm trying for a week and then if it doesn't work after a week i'll i will be getting induced next week if she doesn't come i'm trying to help her come naturally and do her thing <laughs> so hopefully but if not this will be my last pregnancy related video but i have a ton of um postnatal videos planned out for you guys i have a list let me know if there's anything you guys want to see for my postnatal journey and postpartum videos let me know in the comments down below and i will add that to the list but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys will have another video because i will 
take a break, you know, when she's here. So I'm adjusting to motherhood peacefully. But I will be back with videos. Hopefully it won't take a month, but we'll see. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All that jazz. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.